Well, time to bust out a new video. Um, what I'm going to be talking about today, uh, I will be doing some review nonsense on the uh, Creep Show Creep Funko Pop that just came out recently. Um, and then I'm sure many of you are not aware there are actual Creep Show shoes. Uh, like Vans slip ons, but Creep Show splattered all over it. Um, so before I get into those, uh, I did actually hit 1,000 subscribers yesterday. Uh, there are probably about a million other people doing what I do. Uh, so the fact that I hit 1,000 is a fucking miracle. Um, so thank you for everyone that subscribed to me. Uh, I hope you enjoy what I bust out. Um, again, there are a ton of other people that do what I do, um, but uh, I sprinkle my own stupid flavor to whatever I bust out, so that's what makes me me. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I'm going to get into the uh, products that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, I ordered the uh, Creep Show Creep from Hot Topic. Um, they sent it to me in a very uh, super protective uh, package. It came in this... Literally just a thin plastic bag, uh, which offers literally no protection whatsoever. So that was awesome. So what the cool thing was is that my box came uh, nice and crunched up right there. As you can see, that uh, didn't make it very well. So uh, when I open it up, I'm sure it's probably going to look like uh, not great. So if you, uh, you know, like your pops in uh, good shape, uh, this is not really going to be... Uh, as you can see, the box is a little bit crunched, maybe. I swear, one of these days I'll get the focusing thing uh, down properly. Yeah, and then right there, as you can see, that uh, little corner there is uh, crunched up pretty good. Uh, normally, I would be very butt hurt about this situation, but I already did buy one earlier. Uh, that came in good shape. Um, I rarely ever open up my figures, um, so this is actually one of the very rare times you are going to capture me uh, taking a figure or collectible of any sort out of the package. Um, before I open it up again, I just kind of want to show you. Uh, we have the Creep Show logo right there. You can see the nice little cover art right there. That's the side. Uh, the back, usually on Funko Pop figures, they kind of show you all the figures that are coming out. Um, there are two more that are coming. It is the Genie and the Scarecrow from the TV show. Um, so I think those come out soon. I'm not sure when, um, but uh, I don't really think anybody gives too much of a crap about them compared to the Creeps. So that's the uh, important one right there. Uh, so I'm going to open this guy up and take him out so you can kind of get a better visual on that. This is like the first pop figure I've ever taken out of a box. So this is kind of an exciting moment. I'm being totally serious right now. So as you can see, maybe he'll focus. Maybe, there we go. Uh, the biggest deal with this is the book. Maybe you'll be able to see it. Come on. Give me a little little focus. You, you can do it. I believe in you. Why, why can't you just focus? It's not going to happen, but you've all seen the comic. It looks cool. The fact that he's holding any kind of creep show book is uh, really nice. So uh, those are the kind of little details we have right there. As you can see, there's his little face. He's missing a tooth, uh, his eyes look all creepy and his flesh is rotting. Uh, and again, the detail on this is pretty darn cool. Little, little robe. You know, some people's videos that I see, they have nice little spinners. I'm actually going to use my hands because uh, I don't have a fancy spinner. <laughs> and uh, there's the bottom of it. I'm sure maybe in about a year or two you'll probably start seeing, you know, counterfeit ones of these. There's always weird counterfeit things after a while on pop figures. Uh, recently, I think a few months ago, I bought a trick-or-treat Sam figure and I had to be paranoid about it being counterfeit, uh, which kind of sucks. I spent a lot of money on it and sometimes you just don't know if it's fake or not. So, uh, but anyway, uh, that is the uh, Creepshow uh, Funko 
the creep figure. Um, the other ones, as I mentioned, come out later on down the road, um, but again, not as big of a deal as that. Um, overall, I'm pretty stoked on that. Uh, pop figures come out a lot. They're, they're plentiful like Beanie Babies almost. Um, but for horror, there are actually some pretty cool ones that, you know, do come out. Obviously, the Killer Clown set that came out not too long ago uh, was also a really cool set. Um, so, again. What? Anyway, uh, now we're going to go on to the shoes. Um, the shoes I ordered from the uh, Creepshow website. Uh, it says Bucket Feet. Uh, so it's pretty uh, not very awesome it's pretty bland this comes in a little brown box just like that um so i had to order a size 13 uh usually it's hard to find a size 13 in anything i have stupidly big feet uh big ogre feet which are dumb um but here without further ado are the actual creep show shoes Uh, so on the very bottom though, pretty not cool. Uh, it just says bucket feet. Uh, these probably look like some random custom, you know, when you go to a website, you see like different, uh, styles that you can get of the same item, like mugs, beach towels, phones, uh, all that kind of junk. Um, so, you know, not the most epic thing in the world, but the fact that in my hand, I have a pair of creep show stupid tag uh creep show shoes right there uh pretty darn nifty um i'm gonna try these on i have a feeling that they're not gonna feel super awesome um so i'm gonna just pause the video really quick so i can kind of you know show you and either bitch or whine about how they feel on my feet um and then go back to finishing it off but we're gonna pause it really quick for a second with my technology of hands pausing it all right, and here we have the shoes on my feet. Um, obviously, you know, I had to put the uh, Creep Show Fright Rags socks. Um, I felt like that is probably more appealing to look at than my ugly ogre legs. Um, as far as the shoes go, um, they feel kind of cheap, uh, which is to be expected. Um, they're not like, you know, Vans or anything that, you know, you're used to wearing. Um, I mean, <laughs> the white makes me feel like I'm wearing old man slippers or something like that. Um, but, you know, again, uh, if you're going to like a party or whatever, just want to have something cool on your feet, uh, you know, they do the trick, but I would definitely not recommend these for, you know, your usual everyday walking. Uh, they probably would not feel super awesome on your feet uh, over long periods of time. Um, but again, uh, these are the Creepshow shoes and uh, those are my feet. Yeah. And now I'm back. I hope you enjoyed watching my uh, weird little leg man ham legs and feet. Um, so once again, uh, you know, not the greatest shoes in the world. They're $59 on the website. Um, you know, for what they are, they're cool, I guess. Not very comfortable, but you know, I can say I have creep show shoes. Uh, the only problem I have with these is I'm not really sure if I really want to wear them because, you know, I collect a lot, so uh, I don't really want to dirty up, uh, you know, these shoes that I would like to collect uh, just because, you know, it's creep show. Um, I will mention that if you go to the website, it looks like they are doing a free shipping sale. Uh, if you spend over $45, uh, that is, I believe, good until the 12th of June, until 5 p.m. is what it looks like. Uh, again, I'm not reading it word for word. This is just from my brain, so I would recommend going to the website, uh, which, again, I will put on the links below in my little description detail area. Um, so go there and check it out, um, and then just see what they have. Uh, they do have a lot of decent, cool stuff. Uh, they have beach towels, phone cases, mugs, tote bags, skateboards even. Um, so all kinds of cool things. Um, if you do want to get yourself one of those cool Funko, uh, you know, the creep figures, um, I do have a link that goes to my Amazon storefront. So buy it through there. Uh, I think I get flipped like a quarter or something like that, magical, but you know, if 
10 of you buy it, then I can go buy myself a candy bar at the store or something like that, or a soda pop. Uh, so again, go buy it through there. If at least one of you buys it, I'll be happy with my shiny quarter. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and get a back quarter. Who knows? Um, but anyway, that is uh, all for this week of me rambling on about cool horror products. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and once again, uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, uh, I would personally be very happy if you just, you know, click the subscribe button and then the dingle bell thing. Uh, so if I, you know, make a new video, uh, it pops up. Um, that's it, guys. Enjoy. I'll probably do another video here shortly. Uh, but anyway, ciao.